Hi there. This is Rob McLean from LearnToCruiseOnline.ca. This is episode 11 in the Connected Boat series. This episode deals with affordable remote boat monitoring. So here's the situation. Back in 2001, I bought a wooden boat in Ventura, California, and for three years it was parked at Pillar Point Harbor south of San Francisco. I, on the other hand, live in Ontario, 2,500 miles away. So I wanted a way of being notified if anything was going wrong with the boat, if the power was off, if, uh, if there was uh, water intrusion and so on. So the solution that I was able to come with, up with at the time was uh, a product called Sensophone. Uh, we called him Ralph. And uh, th this device was able to provide alerts by phone on specified events. If the uh, a float switch in the bilge tripped or if the uh, noise level was too high or temperature was too high in the boat and so on. And uh, this, this worked fine uh, because uh, the boat had access to a uh, landline at the time. And even uh, when I moved the boat up to uh, Canada, I was able to use this same device with a cell phone adapter. But eventually it died due to the saltwater uh, atmosphere on the boat. So after Ralph died, I started looking for other options and came across a number of, of uh, products specifically designed for boat monitoring. A number of them are referred to on the uh, right hand side of this slide. And if you're willing and able to spend uh, multiple hundreds of dollars along with monthly service fees, there's quite a few different devices available that will monitor the bilge, the batteries, shore power, and uh, offer other uh, security related features. I found these commercial systems a bit pricey, particularly the, the ongoing uh, service fees, and looked for some more affordable options. I came across the Quadrupus from the UK uh, that uh, w works using an old Android phone for uh, accessing the network. I came across a number of GSM-based home security systems. Uh, you add a SIM card and uh, it will uh, call you on uh, designated events. And along the way, I came across the opportunity to roll your own system for under $100 with these low-cost microprocessors that have become prevalent, uh, Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, and there's a number of others. So that's the route I ended up going with an Arduino. You see in the uh, picture here, uh, a mega costs about $16, a float switch, voltage divider, and a Wi-Fi module. So with a bit of programming, you now have a low energy device that will email you if the float switch is triggered or the battery gets low. Other sensors can be added, uh, temperature, intrusion detection, and many others. Uh, if you're outside of Wi-Fi range at a marina, there are cell data modules that can be acquired for about another $50 that can email or text you. I've put uh, two of these uh, systems together so far. I'm working on a third. I have the devices email me every six hours with a status update, which provides me with a complete peace of mind that the boat's still floating and the device is on the job very reassuring. So if this concept of uh, a DIY solution for remote boat monitoring appeals to you, search online for a Raspberry Pi boat monitor or Arduino alarm system and uh, you'll come across some resources that can help you get started down that path. This concludes our discussion of remote boat monitoring. Stay tuned for the next episode.